Computers, dolphins, Riata, and music. What do these seemingly unrelated things have in common? Just sort of exploded uh, out of nowhere. It's probably going to be like a, a couple like centuries or millennia of sea punk. Sea punk? Yes, you heard that right. Sea punk. I'm Alex Mitchell, and today on Weird Vibes, we'll be diving headfirst into an exclusive special report on the year sea punk broke. Sea punk has taken over. It's created a whole new look, and it is wild and outlandish. I get comments on my hair all the time. Blue hair or green hair. And they would all tumble. These gifts of like smiley faces and dolphins. Yet much controversy surrounds this new movement. Some detractors have even declared that sea punk is quote, not a thing. But the sea punkers have ignored these claims. Of course it's real. You just asked about it. How could it not be more real? People want to call it a joke because it makes it easier to dismiss. I'm about to talk real, because this is serious biz. This is the biz of the net, this is the biz of my people. Today, for the first time in network television history, we'll sit down with these so-called sea punkers to set the record straight. What it's become is like, sort of a mess. And they'll discuss their rise to the top. It's been Rihanna. It just looks like so many gifts I've already seen. And they'll be confronting those who claim sea punk is dead. They're full of shit. It's like, that's like another meme. No, sea punk is alive. No, never he's gonna be dead, never. Because a lot of people need it. And uh, the government takes this hit in life. What does the future hold for these young people? We could be homeless in 10 years. It's really scary right now. Is it just a passing fad or a new long-term trend in music? Stay tuned to find out what role the movement might play in the future of our country here on Weird Vibes. But first, here's a music video.